Hello, welcome back to my series on Affinity Photo. In this tutorial, we're going to look at a way of doing dodge and burn non-destructively. If you watched my previous video on dodge and burn, you can find the link to it somewhere up there, you'll have seen that one of the problems with it is it's not non-destructive. So in this video, I'm going to show you a technique that's similar to dodge and burn, but is completely non-destructive. Let's head over into Affinity and I'll uh, talk you through it. Well, I'm back with the same image I worked on last time um, for, uh, um, for dodge and burn. And this time we're going to do the same sort of techniques, but in a different way. This time, instead of using the dodge and burn tools, which are over here, we are going to use two curves layers. So the first one I am going to create is an adjustment layer. It's curves. And I'm going to call this burn brackets darken. And I'm going to hit control I to create a black mask on there. I'm then going to create another adjustment layer, which is also a curve. And I'm going to call this one dodge, which is lighten. Again, control I to create the black mask on there. I'm going to go shift click and put them both into a group. So they're together in a group. That just makes it easy for me to turn them on and off again um, later on in the tutorial. I'm going to go to the lighten layer, double click on the square icon and grab the midpoint and just lighten the whole thing up. Now, you don't see any effect of this because we've done control I to give a, a black mask on there. These, this will only be shown when we paint on there. So I've brought that up. Then I'm going to double click on the darkened one and I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to just bring things down over here. And I'm going to do it with two points like that because I'm predominantly going to be darkening the sky. And if we just bring that down just a fraction as well, it means that the, the lightest colors, uh, we never get to full whiteness on there. So again, we don't see any effect of it because we've not painted anything on there yet. So close that window. So I'm going to go with the paintbrush tool. Settings on here, keep the opacity at 100%. I like to work with a low flow um, on this and I can just build things up on that. It definitely needs to be a soft brush, so hardness at zero. And because we've currently got the mask at black, we need to be painting with white. So I can just click on the white, and I've got a nice white brush. I want a large brush, so use square bracket keys, that, and I can then just gradually paint in on here and just start darkening things up those darker areas and where I want them. And you can see if I make the brush a little bit smaller just to focus a little bit more on particular areas with this. And see that area up there. So I've been able to bring that in. And if I go on a little bit more like that. And I might look at that and think, well, yeah, darken that a little bit around here. Darken those clouds yeah, a bit more down here like that. And there we go. Now, because this is non-destructive, there's a couple of things I can do. I can open this up, move it out of the way, and I can determine how dark I want to make this by pulling down these points. So I can control that to get it looking exactly how I want it, and I can play around with it after the event, something you couldn't do using the dodge and, to, dodge and burn uh, tools. On there, and close that. To lighten these areas underneath the, um, the parasols, again, I'm just going to go with a, a slightly smaller brush, 
because I know I've got a lot to do on this, I'm actually going to push the flow up to about 20% on this. And I can just start painting in underneath here. Like that, get my parasol looking right. And here, a little bit more on there. And here. And then underneath, again, use the square bracket key to adjust the size. I can just lighten that shadow up as I want. And on here, like that. And over this side. And again, because of my flow, I can just move, keep moving the brush over to gradually, continually lighten the whole thing. Now, you can see here, I've gone over the edges of the parasol. Easy fix, I use the X key to switch over the uh, black and white there. And I can then, with a smaller brush, I can start just painting that out. So those bits I've gone over, I can adjust after the event. Simple as that. Again, okay, just do those edges and around here. And if I think I've got a little bit too much on that section, again, I can just go over and darken those because this whole thing is, is non-destructive on it. So I've got that. So now, if I just turn off the whole group, we can see a before and after. And you can see how that sand has been lightened. And again, I think just outside the shadow doesn't need any lightning on there. So I can just sort that bit out. Again, down here. It's actually easier to see the bits I need to adjust by just turning that group on and off like that. You can see the difference that that has made. And there, that's the way you would do non-destructive dodge and burn on an image. So hope you found that helpful. If you did and you want to see some of the uh, videos in this affinity series, the playlist is on the screen now. And the next video in the series, when it's released, will be on the screen also. So thanks for watching. Until next time, keep making great photos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.